Yo, um, can you give me some insight on like uh, how influential Nipsey has been? Because Nipsey was kind of the first guy to do yeah, the private pay pioneer. thing, right? Man, he is a pioneer Nipsey in so many the, ways. Nipsey is the reason I decided to start doing proud to pay. And I feel like I re- revolutionized it another tier by doing offer base. So I started with proud to pay. I was riding my bike and I was like thinking about Nip's $100 album. And I was like, man, how can I do this but in a way that's conducive to my people? Because I didn't know too many niggas who would pay 100 for an album. So I was like... I'm just going to let niggas pay whatever. Pay what because you want. if I make $1 over zero, then I won. Yeah. Right? So I started doing pay what you want. And I won, and I ended up doing a live show that was pay what you want. And I made less than I projected. But I noticed that people don't want to pay a certain amount at the door because there's hella people around. So typically, some niggas would give me a rack, a hundred. But you don't want to do that at the door with people behind you. So I, I end up creating offer base. And when I start doing my backyard, I was like, let's start doing offer base because I can't. I can't set a ticket price on this experience. Like, you came to the backyard. It was Nigga, we've had shows crazy. with Sada there and different people come out. So it's like, you guys how can Simba I say this? Too, right? Man, I can't say this a $20 ticket, a $5 ticket, $30. None of that makes sense to me. So I'm like, you tell me what, what you think this experience is worth. And all I could do is say yes or no for this one. You feel me? And um, Was it hard to figure out the back end of the offer base thing? Because I've never seen like any website offer something where no, you can No, it was just... new. With the technology was completely new. Like I got with my partner, Abrima, he created a, a ticketing site called What's TBA that just sold regular tickets. And when I came, I was like, man, I got this idea. I need to build a tech behind it so I could do my shows a certain way. And we just started this last year. Like I said, I did half a million on What's TBA offer base shows last year. I think that's the future. If you're smart, man, it's the present and going for exactly you, especially when you um, when you have a real live show and a real live experience yeah. and something like me where and you, got you get to holler at me and talk to me and yeah. I'm around like when you know what it eventually it gets to the point where people stop offering you love like people are just like, I know what I'm getting and I know what this shit is worth and what it means to me. Yeah. Like if um, certain artists who are like a certain level end up. <laughs> Taking that and running with it, it's Man, gone. Clean up, clean up. I even think of like a guy like you know. I always you you always hear a couple of names, Drake, Kendrick. Like if they ever decided to go independent, clean it would, up. It would break the music industry. Clean up. Like if Drake decided to be clean like, clean up, nigga. The labels are pissing their pants. It, he would break <laughs> the music industry. Yeah. Forever. Yeah. I mean, right now there's a lot of. Slow work towards but that. But that's they know that, which is why they're okay running him ha- a quarter billion and plus because they know they know like he's 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 responsible for saving the industry at a at a specific time. So they know. Yeah, like and and I think a guy's like the weekend, like the weekend's team, his infrastructure that isn't the label, just his team is so on point. I'm like, mm-hmm. yo, at what point can the label do anything but write you a fucking check? That and that's. Eventually, it gets to that point, and I honestly and truly feel like I'm getting to that point now. Like after this run, I'm about to have in 2024. At this point, it's not much they could do, but it's even now the offers I get is like y'all got to you, you can only run a check, and which you should want to. When you see a nigga already got a business completely established and built. All you want to do is get a cut because <laughs> you don't have to do nothing. You don't have to you do anything. Just, it's they like built I it. came to you and said, oh, you got a pizza spot. Let me just give you some bread and give me a percent every Definitely month. Not, not, That's a win. Definitely don't have a pizza spot uh, officially, publicly, but maybe soon it'll yeah, be, it'll be announced I'm on my just, instagram that was like a random you yeah, know i do have a nightclub that's very successful in scottsdale <laughs> yeah i've yeah, seen yeah, that yeah, yeah. shout out to uh my business partners that perfect example hey man we try to get people to invest it was it's just three of us and uh everybody who said no within the first month were like hey can we get in and i'm like fuck no ah, <laughs> right like right at cardi b and meek mill and everybody's like yo right? man look if you guys still need a second phase of money i'm like nah we're good now like everybody don't see it Everybody don't see it. And and that is the main thing I think that you're a testament of, bro, is because these conversations I'm telling you about that I've had with people, right. they don't see it and they don't get it and they're, uh, they're oblivious to like, all you got to do is see it. That's all. And people are, you know, if you believe in what you're doing and you're sure of it and you got good people around you who aren't yes men, mm-hmm. 
fuck if somebody who don't like fuck fuck with what what some A and R thinks. Fuck with some label executive thinks. Like Man, and make, make them see your vision. It'd be tough. It'd be tough. Because- and that's easier said than done. Right, <laughs> that's easier said be, than done. Man, it's tough to 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 stay down because you get offered these sums and you want to go, but it man, you really got to stick to like. And you got to have a work ethic. The other thing is, major label might be for you if you're lazy. Yeah, I think the because your work ethic is insane. I think the majors are necessary because there there are some artists that are just insanely talented, but they don't have the um. The care or desire to do all the other shit to make sure the to world get their hands hears really it. So dirty. I yeah. think the labels are necessary. Even for a nigga like me, like if we find the right label yeah. with the right deal, I'm gone because I'm already gone. It's like I'm yeah. not on a major and yeah. I'm on every major platform and niggas no, know. It's got to be so the right deal though. That's it. 